after all the waiting and planning and anticipation and excitement, the day is finally here. We're on the Disney Dream! Yes, we are. So we, uh, we stayed at the Holiday Inn in, so in so uh, Southampton, right? Mm -hmm. Southampton, right? <laughs> okay. We stayed at the Holiday Inn in Southampton. We walked over here. It was about a mile and a half walk. It was unseasonably hot here. They're saying this is like the nicest day they've ever had in Southampton uh, in Port. It's like 26 degrees Celsius. It's, it's very warm. Pushing bags, very sweaty. But we got here. Boarding was super easy. Um, we got here like 15 minutes before our port arrival time. They took our bags right away. Uh, we went through security, got walked right on the ship. So, Port to ship. Port to ship. 35 minutes. Amazing. Nice and fast, nice and easy. Uh, we got on the ship, we went straight to Senses, we bought our Lincoln of Stay passes. And uh, yeah, so now we're just uh, chilling in the adults only area. Getting drinks. We're gonna get in the water here. You can see we're on the, we're on the pool bar. It's a beautiful day, and we're gonna enjoy it. So we'll catch up with you a bit later. Cheers. We are in the hot tub on the edge of the ship. It is beautiful. And there's a window in the bottom where you can actually see down through the bottom. You go check it out. Pretty cool, huh? First soft serve of the trip. Not my left. All right, welcome to stateroom uh, 9038 on the Disney Wish. So we walk in, uh, this is the room. It's a pretty standard uh, Disney Cruise Line room. We have our gifts since we are now silver. It's our second cruise. So we got the Key of the World card holders as well as our Castaway Club bag. That's fun. Um, it's a connecting room, so we have a door to the next one, but we are not connecting with anyone there, so. Um, it's a couch, I believe this converts to a bed. Lots of storage. The TV. Should be the, yeah, the cooler. Let's go back to the front here. Let's whoop. Lots more storage, some cabinets here, the life vests, and some shelving. Oh, and this ladder for the bunk bed that comes down on the ceiling. Some more storage here, life vest, there's the safe. This is the first bathroom, the toilet room. The vase. And then we have the bathroom with bathtub and the plastic shower curtains and the glass doors here. The sink. We still have the H2O products, which I know people love. Yeah, I mean it's a whole set of H2O projects products there. Shower head. Yeah, there's where the the bunk bed comes down from the ceiling. The porter has to do that for you. 
And then we have our veranda. Nice lovely view of Southampton. That sailboat there. Very nice. And we have uh, two chairs and a small table. So it's a nice veranda. Uh, we're a little bit protected from the sun because we're under the overhang. Yeah, so this is a pretty nice room. This is our, only our second Disney cruise. So we have the Wish to compare it to, which is obviously a newer ship. And the room's a bit different, a bit nicer. The TV's quite a bit larger. And, uh, but yeah, now we're looking forward to this to see how it is. One day. But that was only for three days. But hello and welcome to D Lounge. My name is Cinderella. I'm from the Philippines and I'm one of your entertainment crew staff team on board the Disney Dream. And for those who just got here. Yes, that is really my name, Enchante. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, before we begin, oh, yes. I would like everyone to repeat after me. I say this every time I teach children as well. It does not need to be perfect. Perfect. What is important is we're having fun. What is important is that we're having fun. And we're allowing ourselves to make mistakes. And we're allowing ourselves to make mistakes. We go. Do we have erasers, do you think? No. No, because it's okay to make mistakes. In life, it's okay to make mistakes because we learn from it. And sometimes it is where we actually create something even better. Before the Sail Away show, we gathered for a mostly quick and painless muster drill. Disney Cruise Line has been sailing the seas, bringing people together from 
first tau animal of the trip. It's like a uh, giant lobster. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I like it. And we also got our water in our cooler bag. So we'll pack that. And we got a pixie dust gift in our fish extender. Room 9043 and 9045. Let's see what we got. Like some candy treats. Reese's, ooh, Reese's. Kit Kats, Hershey's, and a Heath bar. Very nice. Thank you so much, room 9043 and 9045. After the Sail Away show, we headed down to the shops. After learning that the merch was particularly limited on these European sailings, we decided to make sure we were there well ahead of the 6 p.m. opening time. Even then, there was already a queue forming. It wound up being a little bit of a Black Friday sail atmosphere by the time the doors opened. But we had a good time chatting with other folks in the queue. In all the craziness and scramble, we forgot to film anything. So please enjoy this walkthrough of some of the ship's lounges from earlier in the day. We did manage to pick up the Disney Dream lounge fly bag and ears. However, all the ship specific and 25th anniversary spirit jerseys were completely gone. Also, because of this, we missed our dining time and wound up grabbing some food on the pool deck, which we also forgot to film. All right, so we came to the D Lounge for the Disney Vacation Club member celebration. This is open to all DVC members. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. I suspect they're probably going to try to sell us some more points and uh, pry us with alcohol. Some kind of champagne, vodka, peach, bellini type thing. It's not too bad. What do you think? Magical. Now the question is, are we going to buy some more DVC tonight? No. No, we're not. No, I didn't think so. Disney Dream, please give a big round of applause to your entertainment host, Overture did say, My name is Kaylee, and I come to you all the way from the mystical, magical land of Wales. I know, right? I know, right? Oh, but before we do get started, I'm going to introduce some very special people to come and have a bit of a chit chat with you first. So, of course, all the way from your Disney Vacation Club, please welcome your host, it's Mohammed and Michael. The show the first night was called The Golden Mickeys, an award show that takes a bit of a turn into a magical journey full of songs and dance. It took place in the ship's largest show space, the Walt Disney Theater. We really enjoyed it, but unfortunately we weren't allowed to film any of it to share with you all. All right, so we made it to the end of day one on the ship. Um, it got a little bit, I don't know, off the rails this afternoon. <laughs> we uh, decided to go down to the gift shops and um, meet the crowd for the uh, from they opened at 6 p.m. There was some merchandise there that people were clamoring to get, so we went down and, and waited in line for about an hour from 5 to 6. We got in and, and bought some things probably show those a bit later. So we missed our first dine. It, it was from 6 to 7 at Animator's Palette. Uh, but that's fine because we have we have like three scheduled dinners there. So um, 
yeah, so that's not a problem. We'll, we'll go another night. Uh, we wound up getting some food on the pool deck instead because it was just more convenient for us. Um, yeah, just burgers and chicken tenders, that kind of stuff. Pretty easy stuff. Um, after that, we went to the Disney uh, DVC meetup, which was interesting. Um, there was kind of like this crowd trivia thing that happened. It was a bit, a bit weird, <laughs> but it was fun. We had a good time. We left that to go see the Golden Mickeys, and the Golden Mickeys was a really fun show. Um, I know it's not like the most popular show for this cruise, for this uh, particular ship, but uh, we had a good time. We really enjoyed it. Um, but that now it's a little after. It's almost ten o'clock actually, and everything's all the pools and everything's shutting down. And we're pretty tired. It was a long day, so we're gonna crash the night. Uh, tomorrow we're in Zeebrug, Zeebrug, Zeebrugge. I'm not sure how you say that, um, but we're gonna stay in the ship for that. We're gonna explore it a bit more, and uh, I think we have a chocolate and liquor tasting in the afternoon. We signed up for us. So we have that, and uh, yeah. So we'll just see you tomorrow and see how that goes. Night. Join us next time as we stay on the ship in Zeebrugge. We'll help Mickey solve a crime and indulge ourselves in a bit of fun and relaxation.